My BFI player choice this week is an icily satirical psychological sci-fi thriller from Jessica Hausner, the Austrian writer-director behind Lords and Amor Fu, a fairy tale inflected yarn about a genetically engineered plant that may or may not be infecting human minds. It's described by its creator as a parable about what is strange within ourselves. <laughs> Little Joe. The first mood-lifting, antidepressant, happy plant. We've received orders from all over the world. I just wanted to say that I feel really proud to be working with you. Look what I have for you. What do you say we call him Little Joe? You have to take good care of it. Keep it warm. Talk to it. It needs attention. What's so special about it? It makes you happy. Can Prize winner Emily Beecham, who stars alongside Kerry Fox and Ben Whishaw, is brilliantly brittle as Alice, the botanical scientist whose red hair mirrors the vivid hue of her latest creation that she's tellingly named after her son. Designed to make its owner happy, Little Joe's mood-lifting smell triggers the production of oxytocin, the mother hormone, that will make you love this plant like your own child. But what if Little Joe wants children of its own? In a world in which the reproductive urge is what gives every living being meaning, could this deliberately sterile plant be turning human heads to its own ends, albeit imperceptibly? Working with regular writing collaborator Geraldine Bajard, Hausner takes care to leave such questions open. As with Lords, the central miracle here remains an enigma, as real or unreal as each viewer wants it to be. From the sedate swirl of an overhead surveillance camera to the elegant glides and eerily creeping slow zooms of key dialogue scenes, Martin Geschlecht's cinematography has an almost Kubrickian choreography, mesmerizing the viewer with what they can see while taunting them with what they can't. While the visuals are immaculate, the soundtrack is electrifying, using tracks from the Watermill album by Japanese composer Teiji Ito, whose music accompanied the films of Maya Derin, creating a sonic backdrop in which wind instruments blow Little Joe's pollen around like a hypnotic snake charmer, while plucked strings pick aggressively at the Hi. seams of normality. Little Joe. Now for some, Little Joe may seem too sterile to engage emotionally, but I found it glassily unsettling, even more so on second viewing. Inhale at your peril. Good night, little Joe.